Good morning, Flint Hill, and welcome to our daily WPTV newscast. This week, you'll be uh, hearing from Team 4, and I wanted to introduce them. First, we have Levi Tupper, Hope McMonagle, and Michelle Richter. So stay tuned, boys and girls. They're coming up next. Good morning. Today is Thursday, February 3rd, 2022, and I am Michelle with your announcements. This is what is going on around Flint Hill today. Is your mask on properly? Today is special rotation A. Everyone is asked to wear the color yellow on Friday for Black History Month. Mr. Guest will have more information about Black History Month later in the show. Today is National Women's Physicians Day. Make sure to check out our book on Canvas. February 4th will be early release day. School will be dismissed at 11.10 a.m. for conferences. Please remember the three W's. Wash your hands, wear your mask, and watch your distance. Remember how now for all weather. Good morning, boys and girls. Yesterday was Groundhog Day, and we were not able to tell you um, what the results were on our morning show yesterday because we had to wait. So we wanted to tell you today. Now, um, we have two groundhogs that um, can say they can predict um, the forthcoming weather. Um, we have one in Pennsylvania and we have one in Georgia. Okay, uh, and I hope I don't butcher this name too bad, but Puxawani Phil predicts six more weeks of winter weather because he did see his shadow. But here in Georgia, General Beauregard Lee predicts that spring is on the way because he did not see his shadow. So it's a 50-50 chance, boys and girls, as to whether or not we will continue to see winter or whether we will see spring in the upcoming weeks really, really soon. So what do you think, boys and girls? Which one of these groundhogs do you think is right? Maybe you can take a vote in your classroom. Have fun with this, boys and girls, and we'll see you later on in the show. I'm ready. Good morning. I am Levi with today's weather. The high will be 70 degrees and a low of 51 degrees. Looks like it will be cloudy. Make sure make sure to be prepared. Enjoy, enjoy your day now to our lunch menu. Hello, I'm Hope with the lunch menu today. The, the cafeteria will be serving popcorn chicken, whole grain roll, breaded chicken sandwich, green peas, sweet potato fries, fruit, frozen fruit cup, fresh fruit, and your choice of milk. And now to Mr. Guest for our Black History Person of the Day. Hello, boys and girls. It's Mr. Guest here again with your Black History Person of the Day. Boys and girls, please remember we have sent out a link for your teachers to place on their Canvas pages that will go along with WPTV and Black History Month. Today, we'll talk about Thurgood Marshall. Thurgood Marshall was an American lawyer and civil rights activist who served as an associate justice on the Supreme Court of the United States from October 1967 until October 1991. Marshall was the court's first Black justice. On the Canvas page, you'll find a read aloud, famous quotes, and a video about Thurgood Marshall. Have a great day. There is very little truth in the old refrain that one cannot legislate equality. Thurgood Marshall was the first African American to serve on the Supreme Court. He was also one of the most effective civil rights crusaders of the 20th century. He believed fervently in the Constitution. He felt that that was the tool that would eventually make black people equal to whites in this country. Born in Baltimore in 1908, Marshall was the son of a railroad porter and a teacher. His intellect led him to Howard University Law School, where he graduated at the top of his class. He was one of those people when he walked into a room, you knew he was there even if you had your back to him and didn't see who it was. 1935 marked a turning point for Marshall when he won the case of Murray versus Pearson. Donald Murray had been denied admission to law school because of his race. The entire neighborhood knew about it, and the Afro-American wrote his lines about it. It was a very uh, significant victory and a very happy victory for all of us. It was Marshall's landmark victory in Brown versus the Board of Education that effectively ended legal-sanctioned segregation and made him a national figure. To those of us who know the struggle is far from over, history has another lesson. It tells us how deeply rooted habits of prejudice are. 
Thurgood Marshall moved to the other side of the bench in 1967, when President Lyndon Johnson nominated him to the Supreme Court. I believe it's the right thing to do, the right time to do it, the right man in the right place. Marshall would serve as one of the Supreme Court's most progressive justices until his retirement in 1991 at the age of 83, and he never lost his fun-loving demeanor. What's wrong with me? I'm old! He died two years later and was memorialized as a pillar of the Civil Rights Revolution. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Flint Hill students. This is Coach Owensby here, and I have lots of important PBIS news and reminders for you this morning. So first off, this week we do have smencils for sale in the front lobby. They are $1 a piece. So if you would like to purchase a smencil, it is a first come, first serve, and they will be on sale till we are all sold out. So come by and Purchase your smencils in the mornings if you are interested. We have lots of different flavors, 10 different scents for you to choose from. If you would like to purchase stickers from the sticker machine, I want to remind you that most of the stickers cost three quarters now, 75 cents. Remember the machine only takes quarters, so bring your three quarters if you would like to purchase stickers from the sticker machine. Now, the other important news that I have, and I need everybody to listen very carefully to this announcement. We have started the month of February. February will be the last month for your class to earn class compliments to get to go to the school store and for your class to earn your ice cream party. So we are gonna need all Flint Hill students on their best howl behavior so that you can earn compliments to get to go to the school store and to earn your ice cream party. We have some classes that haven't made it to a party yet, and I would love for all classes to earn their ice cream party by the end of the month. So you have until the last day of February to earn your compliments for school store and ice cream party. And then for March, April, and May, we're gonna have new incentives for you. So stay tuned for some news about that coming in March, but I just want you to know that February is the deadline, the end of February, to earn your compliments, to get to go to the school store and your ice cream party. 
So $1 for stencils, 75 cents only quarters for stickers, and make sure you are earning those compliments. So let's keep up our how behavior, boys and girls. Y'all have a great week. Thank you.